Well, good morning. It's 7.40-something. Been up for 29, 14, 15 minutes shy of 30 hours now. Last night was shit. It sucked. Got my ass beat. I sat down for lunch. That's it. On machine, off and on, jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs till about 2 a.m. Then all of a sudden, was on one job, I'm trying to get this machine going for like four hours. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm ready to be off. I'm cranky, I'm hangry, I'm exhausted, but don't have a whole hell of a lot longer, so just banging out as much as I can while I can. Opportunities there, every opportunity needs to be seized. You hear good your laundry going in the background again. I just took clean clothes in last night. Need to do them again. The last night. Ooh, oh, and left my wallet at home. So I had to go through the main gauge check and I had to have them manually clock me in. In 10 years, I've been out there over 10 years, I've never forgot my wallet and had to do that. And I have less than three weeks left. First time for everything, right? And then we set the dates that we're going to Winoka, to the sand dunes. So I got on registers. So we, uh, we're going to uh, reserve a campsite because we found out where the other guys are. They got their campsites at. So going to reserve that and didn't have my wallet. So couldn't do that. So I got it pulled up on my phone, saved on my phone from last night. So I'm going to put in my credit card information, reserve that site. And I'm excited. It's going to be a... Uh, Pretty longer trip than normal. I'm excited, I'm really excited about it, but it's not even in May, it's in June. Oh well, works better for everybody, and it gives me a whole month to get stuff done and figured out while after leaving, so good. That's it. I don't know what to talk about. So I'm just gonna say goodnight in a bit. I got a lot of shit to do today, so Probably the latest I'm gonna sleep is noon. Four hours. Maybe less than that. I don't know. See you when I see you. you guys just don't get it. You don't get it. Come on, now, just let's go outside. Oh, man, you guys just don't get it. Oh, um. So it's 1.30. I knew I was probably gonna get a call from the other out of the realtor about some investment opportunities. Go potty. Go! So ended up, uh, he called me at 12.30, woke me up, and I was hoping to get at least four hours of sleep, which was awesome. Called and woke me up, and then, you know, he was just kind of running over these two deals, just kind of, you know, yada, 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 going all over, you know, just going over them, everything, and all of a sudden, the more he started talking, the more I was waking up. And the more he was waking me up because of, he was piquing my interest, and what he was saying, and what he was offering, and this and that. One's a $450,000 deal, and the other one's uh, right at a million. And then I already have a $300,000 in the works, so maybe $2, $2 million worth of deals. Talked to him for a good hour, talking to everything, going over things, so I need to sign some confidentiality agreements, and then uh, we can go look at properties, talk to tenants, get all the detailed information as an investor. Here's the thing. You all think that things just fall into my lap, that things just always just happen to me and always just poof magically. It's because you guys don't see the phone calls where I bug the shit out of people. I predicate my success, I don't wait on it. And that's why it's so big with me right now. Like, I'm hounding it. What I do immediately after I got that, I call the other realtor that I'm working on a deal with. Dude, where are we at? And you know what? Some of you might think I'm a dick or this and that and everything. Business is business. Deal in that realm. I don't, I don't I push people. Get shit done. You're, you're messing with my success and where I need to be. So I'm like, hey, what's your percent on confidentiality or confidence that we can get this done? He's like, uh, 80% on this and that. I said, now here's another thing. Here's another pusher. I, two other investment opportunities that I can swing one with this deal and the other one I just do alone. 
since you know both of them together would be about 700,000 and just the one would be about a million. So either those two or just that one I could swing in the way and I like that million dollar one as an investment. But that's also where it comes down to is I said, hey, uh, now I'm not really predicating on your, your deal. I'm not waiting on your deal. You know, I'm not really at the mercy of it. Remember, win-win. Always put yourself in win-win. He's like, man, with the uh, the CFO, the chief financial officer that's over this deal, he's like, that he said that'll light a fire. So you know, I know, I know, I, I offered what I offered. He's gonna, they're gonna counter, and there's numbers I want to settle on and stuff. But it is what it is. That's where I'm at. That's it's because I network. That's what I was getting at. It's because I network. It's because I talk. I talk and I talk and I talk and I talk and I network and I network and I. You know, I, everybody, everybody knows it's like it, it's like at Goodyear. Say, if nobody in the plant, you know, is available for overtime and everything, within continuity, you know, as in somebody, the shift incoming or the shift staying over on this and that, nobody's available. You know, they're like, hey, Gabriel work, and there, there's always people like, hey, this person will work, this, this, this. If you talk about people that work overtime and will usually just work overtime, there's the people that'll stick out in your mind. There's people that if I said, hey. Who, who are the, like people you know that have a loser mindset? Who are the people you know that have a winner mindset? People's names will pop into your head automatically. So when it comes to overtime, people will pop in your idea. Well, this was a realtor that follows my stuff. He's on my Facebook, you know, for commercial stuff. And he saw some of my Facebook posts and he was like, dude, I have a couple investment opportunities and you guys might see it on one of my posts. So he ended up calling me and now we're, we might be making deals. He came to me because I already put myself out there. That's when you have, it's like instead of throwing out one fishing line, when you hit social media and everything, you can throw out tens of twenties of fishing lines. So when people have deals and they're looking for buyers and investors and stuff like that, hey, I know that guy does, let me hit him up. So it's not making me have to search and run around and look everywhere for my money, no. it let things come to me so I can stay focused on the other things that I got to do and the deals that I'm making and the things that I'm constantly running and doing through my mind. And things are coming into my lap where it's like, hey, pick and choose and deal, you know, with what I want. I hope you guys understand that. And a lot of times if you sit down, I can always get you guys more in depth and serious, but I got to run to the banks. I got to get some confidentiality signs, printed, signed, sent back, faxed back, scanned back. Um, I just got shit I gotta do in a couple hours. Let's go. All right, just got done doing some stuff running to Meriden, but you guys are about to learn something. You're about to see something. Look at this. There's a toolbox that was on the side of the highway here. Open. I'm about to see if I can get it for free. It's for sale. Let's see. There we go. Just came up here to the homeowners. The guys in the truck, they were just doing some work in the yard. So came up to the house, guys were like, nope, I'm just getting rid of it. So we're going to load it up and put it in the truck. If I don't like it that much, I'll sell it. And if I do, I might just put it in my diesel. But we never really, really looked at it, so let's just see. Just hold on, we'll get there. And it's even red and black. Not fancy, but it could work. Oh, it's all broken. Dang it. I don't like it. But hey, always worth a shot. All right, let's get back to on track what we're doing. 9 20 9 30 i don't i'm tired really tired never got called for overtime so apparently some people are stepping it up and working the overtime but i'm tired so i don't even i'm not even gonna try to sit down and then get up and vlog in a bit so just gonna do my thing now but uh i'm gonna get, get my uh huntoon land listed for sale i'm gonna make a long story short the guy one of the guys that deals with that properties, I just, I didn't really like how you approach things, just kind of like, I'm the guy to sell your stuff, 
let me list it, charge you this much, yada, yada, yada. Didn't like it. I like people that go above and beyond and hustle for their money and really put in the work. So the guy that I've dealt with for years and just, I've had a cell phone number and I've talked with him and he's a realtor, he works for the same place. I said, dude, I said, uh, I won't list it with him because I already told the dude I wouldn't months ago. But I told him, I said, dude, I said, I want you to get the commission. I said, I'll be cool with you doing it. And this and that, he's like, dude, I absolutely appreciate it. I said, dude, you did it. You put in the work, you put in the extra work. You put in the the foundation of building a, like a relationship and a network and that trust and that respect that he got from me. So what I wasn't willing to pay for somebody else, I'm willing to pay with him. Makes sense? It's a lot of what I build my life on and stuff like that. So that's just a long story short. So I'm willing to pay an extra 20000 to go to this guy and rather than go to somebody else. But it's just leapfrog with my money, reallocating assets for bigger purposes, selling one to be able to do bigger stuff, profits down the road, stuff like that. It's a lot of research, a lot of talks, a lot of me going to people I look up to and mentors and sitting down and talking to them about deals. So like I said, as much as I talk, I listen a lot and I sit down, I take my pride, I take my ego aside of it. I don't really have much of pride or ego that people assume that I do because I sit down, I listen, I talk, I ask questions to a lot of people that I look up to. Owners of banks, successful people. I'm the dude that asks questions and I'll be there with a pen and a pad writing shit down and engaging and trying to ask questions and trying to learn and grow. That's how you win. I'm just trying to show you guys all these tips and tools and everything that people do that win. It's a lot of things that a lot of people don't want to do. Suck it up. Become a winner. It's time to get rid of that loser mindset. Change your mindset, change your life. And I'm gonna get ready to go to bed, probably. I'll try to stay up for a bit, but I doubt it. That's it, you guys kick ass. Guess I'll just see you in the morning. Later.